Look at those Christmas pretty blah blah. Look at those pretty Christmas lights. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, I'm walking around a residential neighborhood in the Westheimer area, Westheimer Montrose. This is the fancy cultural neighborhood of Houston. This is where the gays live. <laughs> At least that's what my dad says. I'm like, Dad, I'm going over to Westheimer. He's like, Watch your ass. The queers will get you. Silly old people. Queers don't get you. You get them. Look at this house. There's a bunch of nice houses here. Get my finger out of the way. There we go. But American flags. It's good to be back in uh, America. I've been binging on American music, classic rock, and uh, country music. I think I'm trying to get all the uh, all the Thailand out of my blood. All right, now is uh, trying to get my life together in the new country. I bought me a van. I bought it for seven seventeen hundred, and. I put $100 of gas in it as soon as I got it because they gave it to me with no gas. They gave it to me with so little gas that I stalled in the parking lot driving it out after I bought it. Cheap bastards. <laughs> but um, anyway, once I got it, I put $1,000, $1,100 about in repairs on it. So altogether, this van has cost me almost $3,000. $3, so... I think maybe tomorrow I'm going to go in and take it for an alignment, and that's probably going to be, you know, about another hundred, so 3000 even to buy a van, get it all set up, and that's not counting all the interior stuff I have to do. I think I spent about $100 on a drill, screws, and lumber, 2x4s and plywood, to build a bed on the inside, so I'm going to... I'm gonna make it all comfy. Look at look at how nice it is here. I mean, Houston ain't my favorite city in the world, but this district is pretty groovy. It's also probably pretty fucking expensive. This is my take. This looks a lot like the town of Plattsburgh, the town that I just kind of sort of grew up in. Man, look at that one. That one's fancy. That doesn't look like a house. It looks like an edifice. Something you could. Uh, I don't know. Defend against zombies in. <laughs> this one too, shit. This house looks like a fucking courthouse. This, this looks like where they would send you to jail if you lived here. Or a psych clinic. Rugged. <sighs> but anyway. That's how life's going for me. I'm fixing to... I'm applying to every single job I can find. Because I've got about three months before I can do any serious fighting again, so... I figure I might as well take three months, get a job somewhere, and put some money in my pocket. Got a lot of options. There's a, an, a thing called uh, Eagle Ford Shale, and it's a, uh, a long bed in the south of Texas where there's a lot of oil drilling happening. And uh, I want to see if I can't get a job on one of those rigs and uh, do my part to destroy the environment. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm a bad person. But I'm here. This is where I want to go. And uh, I think I'll say goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Strange random person. <laughs> Everyone looks at the ground like zombies. Goodbye, Internet. I will speak to you again.